right, folks, welcome to another episode of The Economy and You. And uh, today, of course, is an interesting day. It's the day after the most scary day of the year, which is, of course, <laughs> Election Day. So uh, I, I'm uh, everybody out there that's suffering from PTSD, I totally understand. So today, we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship. Uh, we're going to sort of move away from politics now since the election's over. And today's guest is Richard Bubrigge. Uh, Richard is an entrepreneur in the greatest sense of the word. He started his own online uh, website. And uh, Richard, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, and, and I'm getting over a cold, just so you know that. Okay. So it makes <laughs> you feel any better now that you've shaken my hand. But welcome to the show. Um, and you, are, uh, you have started a company. You, you were an entrepreneur in, in, in the true sense of the word. You started several different companies over the course of your life. Yes. And, uh, and then your last venture, which is the one we're going to talk about today, mm -hmm. is a platform called AutoRepairConnect.com. Yep. Now, this, um, this is an online business. First yes. one? First, first, first online business. First I've, online business. That I've done. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, it all started I, I'm from an automotive background. I was, had an auto repair shop in Cupertino when I was in the in the mid 80s uh -huh. and then i had a truck accessory store and i spent a lot of money on advertising uh, we used to spend six thousand dollars a month with yellowpages.com in the uh -huh. when when it was still the print book where you had the big ad so we were in right. five different books and it was just a lot of money and so you ended up paying a lot of rent uh ten thousand dollars a month in rent six thousand dollars a month to the yellow pages thirty thousand dollars a month in payroll and at the end of the month you've really worked to make everybody else a paycheck to give everybody else a paycheck so the the business i wanted to start i went to the internet was i wanted no rent uh no advertising and no employees and so that's why i ended up and I, the only thing i knew was automotive repair oh and so i thought well i'll build a directory for automotive repair shops and auto body window tinting uh -huh. we have almost 20 categories and covers everything from auto repair to window tinting and everything in between okay so um you started this how long ago? When did this adventure start for you? Well, I had the idea maybe 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And I hired my first uh, website developer right, developer right out of college. He uh, had him on an H-1B visa mm -hmm. when I was living in Sunnyvale, uh, California. Let me guess. And he had an accent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. His name, he was from India. Uh -huh. His name was Atul. He, he grad, graduated with his master's in computer science and came to work for me. Uh -huh. And we spent about eight months together building out the platform, the dashboard, just the whole, the whole product we built in about eight months. Uh -huh. And this was your first iteration? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and how that worked out for you? Well, he didn't have a, even though he had his master's in computer science, he didn't really have enough experience to build an enterprise level platform. So, so the, the, the caveat here is just because somebody <laughs> has a big fancy degree doesn't necessarily make them a great coder. Yes, yes. He, Experience counts for a whole bunch in yes, this business. That's true. That's true. So now, um, but when you decided to do this, I mean, you you still had your your uh, accessories business at the time. No, no, I had been out of uh, I had been oh maybe three years out of that business, and I traveled a little bit in the motorhome and tried to figure out what I wanted to do. And, uh -huh. and for some reason, I came up with this idea and said, "I'm going to give it a shot." And, okay. And I've been doing it for a few years now. Had the website built twice, and then uh -huh. had it redesigned once. And now uh, I'm just getting ready to start marketing it. Uh, we marketed it a, a little bit earlier in the year, mm -hmm. but now it's time to really push and, and do a hard launch and really take it across the United States as a nationwide platform. So a, 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 an online directory like this, is, it's a nationwide directory? Yes, it is. Okay. So if I'm, if I'm in the automobile repair business, mm -hmm. um, there's Yellow Pages, there's... Yelp. There's lots of other as Craigslist. Right. Um, <laughs> so why, why would I want to be listed with you versus as a directory rather than those guys? Well, we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, Yelp, Yellow Pages, they have hundreds of categories, maybe 500 categories. And they, Yelp has great reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, the users love them. Sometimes some of the, the businesses aren't as, as much in love with Yelp as the users because it is an expensive platform to be on. Uh, and it, you can... Well, how much do you pay for like a Yelp ad? I think the, well, they're, they start at about $300 a month and I know people that have paid up to $800 a month. And so the biggest problem is 
are you really getting your money back? And that's where in mm -hmm. any business, Yelp, Yellow Page is my business. Or Google even, if you're advertising or Google. to Google. Yeah. You, you, you really need to, to know as an advertiser, if you're spending hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars a month, you want to know that your advertising is working. And so this is the big problem that, that online websites have is to, is to be able to show the results to their uh, to the people that are paying them, their advertisers. Mm -hmm. You need to bring them new, new business or your platform doesn't work. Well, you know, there's an old expression in the world of advertising, right? Half the money I spend on advertising, I waste. The problem is determining which half it is. Right. <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now you started this platform. What have been some of the biggest challenges that you've had with this since you, since you decided to do this? You said you had some problem, challenges with programming? Yes, it's uh, when you build something like this mm -hmm. to, to really make it so it can be done, you, you need the advertisers uh, to be able to sign up online. So there's a lot of uh, admin dashboards, advertiser dashboards, manager permissions, and there's a lot of pieces to it. You have a uh, Google Maps API, and we have a Yelp API. We show Yelp reviews on our oh, site. Oh, you have Yelp API? Oh, yes. Yelp, Yelp reviews. Yes, so, we do. Okay, all right. And. Um, then we have uh, an API for data and another API for Facebook. And so there's a lot of pieces to it. You have email integration, uh, a lot of integration. And so you have a lot of people that have done some coding, but they really haven't done the integrations. And so until they've done one, it, it is a learning curve and everything, mm -hmm. everything that needs to be done. So sometimes uh, I heard somebody the other day, they asked him what was the toughest part of his seven years in business. He says, every part of it. And that's yeah. how I kind of feel. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Every step of the way, it's been, uh, it's been... It's a slog. It's a, yeah, it is. It's, it's a challenge. But uh, I'm kind of stubborn, very stubborn, and I You're just want to do it. You must be a former Marine. Yes, we talked I, I, I gave that away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, Marines have a tendency to be fairly tenacious. Yes, Yeah, yes, even in business. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, now, what is the... Um, uh, what is the end game with with this? What for you? What do you see as the end game? What what is the is the platform done, or do you still have more to do with it? Well, the platform we're getting ready to market it. Of mm -hmm. course, on a platform like this, you never really finish. You uh -huh. you're always doing work on it. You're you're getting feedback from your uh, from the the business owners, the, uh -huh. your advertisers, and feedback from the users. And you want to make sure that you're building the best product. Yelp has 300 programmers, and they're always iter uh, new new uh, iterations of the new products, new features. Uh -huh. so, so it'll never really be done and built where you can just kind of walk away and say, okay, we did a great job. But we just want to provide uh, the best advertising. We, uh, what I, I've got a kind of a catch words I use. We want an affordable, an affordable long-term advertising solution for our advertisers. We mm -hmm. don't want them to come in and pay us $500 a month, which we're not even close to that. I mean, our, our platform, I won't say the price, but it's very, very reasonable. Okay. And um, we have to prove to our advertisers, to the shop owners, that this works. If, if it doesn't work for them, why would they pay us? Right. And then I, then I think that gives us the advantage compared to some of the larger companies where they've got, Yelp has 300 uh, engineers every day working on their product, and they need to pay these people big money. But Yelp has a bit of a reputation of being kind of a bully. That's yeah. I've you know if if you don't like if you don't do uh, advertising with them, and you get you can sort of get bad reviews, and it makes it very difficult for you to sort of get out from underneath that. Yeah, there's been a, a few things with Yelp, a few lawsuits and stuff. Uh, nobody's really uh, won the lawsuits, but but there's been some unhappiness with the the, the Yelp, the advertisers, and so. We don't want to be in that situation. We want to make sure that we put our advertisers first. We mm -hmm. want them to get business because if they don't get business, there's no reason that they should be on our platform advertising, giving us money. Right. And that's well, when you're when you've got 300 people working for you, you need to get money first, money first, and worry about getting them business second. Uh -huh. That's really the the difference between a funded startup like Yelp and uh, some of the other larger companies. Uh -huh. And where we're, we call it bootstrapped when you when you started on, you're not funded, so you're bootstrapped. Your, and your funding is your friends and your family. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and hard work. Uh -huh. And so we have to prove to our, our the people that are paying us, we need to send them business every month. We can't just say, oh, thanks for your money and not send them business. We, that, that's our, our business is, get, is sending them new business. That's really our business. So one of the things that your site talks about is having uh -huh. an active referral service. Yes. What is that? Uh, People come to our website. There's a lot of auto repair shops. 
Um, By the way, how many repair shops are in oh, your database? We have uh, about 500,000 auto repair shops in our database. Well, now we think about auto repair shops. That's not just auto, auto repair. Auto repair, though. auto body, uh, window tinting, um, auto glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, towing in there towing, too. I think I saw towing. Auto in there. detailing. Yeah. We have, I can't even remember, all radiator shops, uh -huh. auto glass. We have, and muffler. You had mufflers. Mufflers, yes. and muffler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a total of half a million companies in this. Yes, system. yes, there is. Wow, that's a lot. And um, so you basically you've covered you you sort of built out a platform. Right, we are the only people that have we're the only. It's, uh, nation, it's nationwide. It's yeah. communities across the United States. Y yes, we're the only uh, website like it. There's a uh, a few others. There's Repair Pal, Open Bay, and a couple other ones, but they've got one category. We've got the full spectrum, everything automotive. So when you come to our website, there you can find anybody anybody that you're looking for. So where did this sort of epiphany come from that this was the, the, the thing that was missing? Well, nobody was doing it uh -huh. and I saw the need for it because the people that were doing it are charging $500 a month, $300 a month and it's just as a former business owner, I know it's not easy to, you know, you, you, you're making money but to just keep on paying for advertising uh, ex and, and making enriching somebody else when you're still just trying to pay your bills, mm -hmm. and and so it, it came out to to make a better solution for for the advertisers and for the users, because the users since we are uh, a platform where they can come straight to our website and find anything on auto repair, it's it's we have a much better search feature. Okay. Because we're just automotive and we have everything in the right category. They're not searching searching the whole. Uh, web for it. They come right. right to our website. We have all 500,000 of every business in the United States. Now, there. so when I took a look at the site, one uh -huh. of the things that I noticed, like with Google, you sort of get, you get sort of auto repair, but then you get other stuff sort of in, intermingled in with it. Yes. And, um, and then some of, the, some of the stuff, the data is good, some of it's not, but of course, um, with, your, with your platform, one of the things that I noticed is that it seems to be fairly coherent, whatever shops are yes. in a specific category, it lets you find it more, more, more easily. Yes, we spend a lot of time cleaning our data and we make sure we get the radiator shops under radiator and the auto glass under auto glass and you know, every category. Uh -huh. that, so, so when you are a user and you come to our website, you find what you're looking for and you're not calling, uh, we, we can also search by vehicle make, so you can work, you can search by auto repair. Oh, that's right. You can search by uh, the or type of vehicle. BMW, Mercedes, so you can find, <coughs> I actually find a specialist on our website too. Oh, I think they're scrolling our website now. Okay. Now, <laughs> now I, I did notice like you, you've got things on here like uh, collision repair, transmission repair also. Yes. Emission testing. Okay. So you've got all this stuff on the site and then it also has all their contact information. Yes, it does. People, not just like on Craigslist where you get uh, a sort of a Craigslist email. Right. Oh, the, maybe somebody will get back to you. You asked me about the phone number on the website. That's where we, yes. I got off, off the... Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's talk about that. We're going to take a short okay. commercial break and then we're going to come back and let's talk about the phone number and how people can contact you. I'm Chris Leatham and this is The Economy and You. Today's guest is Richard Verbregi and we're talking about his company called AutoRepairConnect.com. We'll be right back. Aloha. Hey, Stan Energy Man here. Make sure you tune in on my lunch hour every Friday from noon until 1230 at least. Maybe I'll go a little long if you got good stuff to, to share with you. But we'll talk about energy, all kinds of energy. My favorite is hydrogen, and my favorite, other favorite is transportation and hydrogen. But we'll talk about all kinds of energy. Be with us every Friday at noon, Stan Energy Man. Aloha. Hi, I'm Stacy Hayashi with the Think Tech Hawaii show, Stacy to the Rescue, highlighting some of Hawaii's issues. You can catch it at Think Tech Hawaii on Mondays at 11 a.m. Aloha, see you then. Aloha, my name is Reg Baker and I'm the host of Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're a show that broadcasts live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. We highlight success stories in Hawaii of both businesses and individuals. We learn their secrets to success, which is always valuable. I hope to see you on our next show. Aloha. Welcome back. I'm Chris Ethan with The Economy and You. Today's guest is Richard Verbrugge with Auto Repair Connect. He is an entrepreneur, an online entrepreneur, and you know, we love people who are doing e-commerce here at Think Tech Hawaii. So, Richard, we were going to talk about, when we left, we were, we were going to start uh -huh. talking about this sort of uh, phone number or active referral service thing that yes. you do. 
why is that, say, different than Yelp or some of the other services? What, what does that entail? We're the only one that, that is doing that because um, you get a lot of people that they, they own a car, they don't really know a lot about cars. Yeah. And so your car breaks and you're not sure what it is. So we've got a phone number on our website where the, the people that are looking for auto repair or window tinting or uh -huh. transmission repair, they can actually call us and we have an expert on the phone that will talk to the, to the people and say, what's your problem? Uh, they won't diagnose your car and fix it for you over uh -huh. the phone, but we can refer you to one of the shops, uh, even if they're not... But uh, you call the shops we first. We call the shop and make sure that they can do the work. Okay. We vet the shop to make sure that they're capable... They're, uh, they're capable, and capable, able. capable and able, and yeah. they have, you know, that they've worked on a Volvo before. You don't want to take your car to a, sh your Volvo to a shop that hasn't seen a Volvo in two years. Uh -huh. You want to take your Volvo to somebody that works on Volvos, your Toyota to, to somebody that works on Toyotas, and vice, uh -huh. you know, every make. I think that's the biggest problem with uh, poor repair jobs as a mechanic. As a former mechanic, uh -huh. I've worked on a couple cars in my time that I wish I wouldn't have taken the job. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, and that's yeah. where I got myself where I had an unhappy customer. Uh -huh. So we're trying to alleviate that. So the customer calls us, we refer to them to a shop that we know that can do the work, that has good, good reviews, uh, that, that has been in business quite a while. Because and, and that's the difference between Yelp. Yelp isn't necessarily going to say, oh, he did a great job on my Mercedes or my Jag. That's right. It just says it's sort of in gen a general sort of, we liked you or we didn't like you, we're satisfied or we're not satisfied. Yes. What you're really talking about is a more definitive under, you know, um, um, statement of, yes, this is somebody that can work on this type of vehicle and yes. has experience or certification and or both. Exactly. Yeah. We, we, know this, we know who's a member of the Automotive Service Excellence, the mechanics. We know who is a member of the Automatic Transmission Rebuilders Association. We know the member shops in all the associations across the United States as far as auto body associations, ICAR. Uh, all of them we know so we know what the best shops are and we know the shops that are f fair that price are they do great work and are fairly price fair we don't you know you, nobody's we there's there's might be a, a very small percentage of auto repair shops that that aren't scrupulous or that are unscrupulous but th what we find is usually it's somebody is getting they take in a job they can't fix yeah and, and that's yeah. where the problems arise so we're sending you to a place uh, to a shop that that we know can fix your car. Okay. So that's the, that's the bottom line. You want your car fixed, and our our repair shops want a job that they know how to fix. So, so that's that's and that's that's I think one of the values of what you're trying to offer here is that you're trying to have a value added service. Yes. To beyond say just just an online directory. Right. Yeah. yeah. We don't like to be called an online directory. We're we're more of like an active referral service. It's, it's so an active really, referral really, service really is maybe a yeah. better a better a yes. better way to refer it. But you do have the ability. People do have the ability to go on the site and 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 search for whatever it is that they're looking for. Yes, they can search, read reviews. Uh, they can call the customer, the advertiser, the the auto repair shop owner themselves. Okay. All right. And so. Um, what is the sort of um, the the game plan then after you sort of get this thing going? Because you said this is just in the beginning stages. Yes, it is. Okay, and so you in, there are other things that you intend to add um, to this platform. Yes, uh, in the beginning, right now we're we're we have twenty three thousand cities in the United States, and there's about a a thousand major cities in the United States with more than thirty five thousand people uh -huh. in it. So what, our first goal is to get one auto repair shop one auto body shop, one window tinting, one uh, radiator shop, one, one, of shop, one of everything, one of every city. So uh -huh. we have, so we have uh, a good vetted repair shop. Mm -hmm. And then as we vet more shops, we put them on our site. So we have, on our shop, we have ones that are verified and ones that we haven't verified okay. yet. Okay, can you share with me your secret marketing strategy? Um, your super secret <laughs> marketing <laughs> strategy for your business. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're working on that. You're working on this super <laughs> yes, secret marketing are. strategy? Okay, yes, all right. Okay. So what do you, what do you envisage as um, your, the, the ideal? If everything goes well, what do you sort of envisage for yourself? Are you going to stay in Hawaii? Because, you, you know, so many companies will start here, and then as they start to grow, they find themselves wanting to get more financing, so they end up back in the Bay Area. Well, I just moved from the Bay Area. I lived in, born and raised in Cupertino, and I lived there my whole life. Uh -huh. and, and I moved to Hawaii. I uh, needed a change. And uh, as far as funding, there's, 
you can do a lot more when you're funded a lot quicker. Yes. But, but if this was a big money-making business, there would be people already funded and doing it. Mm -hmm. But it's something that I, I plan on keeping as large as we can make it uh -huh. uh, because we're just automotive. And, and, and be able to be the premier site where people, a household name where mm -hmm. they say, oh, check out Auto Repair Connect. Right. That's where you go to look for it. Well, and, and you know, being able to give people expert advice. I think yes. one of the things we talked about earlier is giving, be able to give people more expert advice and or um, solutions to, say, everyday problems, maybe to do with weather or, you know, maybe the, the, you're hearing something. Yes. Or what do the lights mean when the little lights go on? on your, right. There's all car. kinds of information going to... We're going to be putting on the website as far as uh, some do-it-yourself fixes and that type of stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, one of the things I have with my Mini Cooper is when the window, the window sometimes won't go down. You pull the little switch and it won't go down. Uh -huh. Well, I found online, I found a video that says this. There's a certain place, if you pop it with your <laughs> fist like that, just so, yeah. it fixes the window. And the window works. Oh, my God, it worked. It's a crazy, it's the most it amazing thing. Yeah, it's just like I blew my mind. I, I, I paid a mechanic $100. Yeah. The first time it went wrong uh -huh. like that, and I'm saying, I'm not paying $100 every time the window doesn't work. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And I went online. I found the video. That's great. I figured <laughs> That's out just where to smack it, and it worked again. It's crazy. Funny. Yeah, it's hysterical. <laughs> so I can see the value of these sort of do-it-yourself kind of fixes. Yeah, yeah. Now, we want to, there's other things we can do to uh -huh. drive our, our business is driving traffic to the auto repair shops, bringing them new customers. Uh -huh. That's our business, and finding the right repair shop for the customer that's looking to get their car repaired. And one of the challenges, of course, with an online business is showing up on the first page of a search engine. Right. Yeah, now there are those sort of those most powerful words which everybody's fighting for. Uh -huh. But one of the things I know, having been a, 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 search, a search engine optimizer mm -hmm. kind of guy, is that there's also lots of words that aren't necessarily as popular, yes. but it's much easier to show up yes. under those search terms. Like showing up under muffler is going to be a lot easier to show up. Muffler repair is a lot easier to show up than yes. auto repair. Auto repair True. is a sort of big word where muffler repair would be more specific. And muffler repair, repair in Honolulu uh -huh. is a much easier search term to show up under right. than muffler repair in, say, San Francisco. True, true. Yeah. So one of the keys, of course, to successfully showing up on the first page of any search engine is not necessarily trying to fight for those bigger words. Yes, that's true. And mm -hmm. um, we, we, we aren't on the first page of Google. We need to be on the first page of Google for every city, every category in the United States. So that's a little, that takes time to build up there. Uh -huh. But what we're doing is we're integrated with Facebook. And so we, the average Facebook user spends 40 minutes a day on Facebook, which is... 242 hours a year. Wow. So we're doing a lot of marketing on Facebook because uh -huh. we know where your customers are. Your customers are on Facebook 242 hours a year. Uh -huh. And so we're marketing our business on Facebook. So we're getting a lot of traffic from Facebook. Now, what about YouTube? YouTube, we've done some videos. Uh -huh. And um, we haven't really, since we're kind of a small company. We haven't had the resources to put into making a lot of videos. We've only made a couple. Okay. But we do have get some traffic from YouTube, and that's another avenue to market the business, as is Pinterest and uh, Tumblr and all these. There's so many so social many media sites. Social media yeah, sites. yeah, yeah. It's gotten a little crazy. It's confusing yes, it these days. Um, so what do, you, what do you see as, um, you know, if you're, if you're going to keep working on this, do you think, mm -hmm. but do you see yourself staying in Hawaii? Do oh, yes. Do yeah. Definitely going to stay in Hawaii. Okay. So do you think you'll be able to employ more people to come and work for you doing the marketing and such? Yes. We, we probably, once, once we have this thing up and running within the next year, uh, I expect us to have at least four or five people, at least four people full-time working on the project uh -huh. itself. And then we're going to be needing telemarketers, email marketers, social media people. So if you people... Everybody need, wants to work. Just if you can have some social media skills, some, <laughs> some uh, internet. If you're a programmer, call us. Call yes. me. We we need to. Uh, we need some people. Now, what is your platform written in? What is the what is, is it? Uh, .NET. It's uh, it's PHP, right? It's PHP. It's PHP with yeah. HTML. Yeah, PHP and Code Igniter and the JavaScript and all that stuff. Uh, HTML. But it's a pretty site. It's very pretty. It's, I mean, you look at it; it's done well. Yeah, yeah. We uh, that's the second. That's actually the third third redesign we've had. Oh, okay. And, and okay. It's been built twice and three redesigns. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now it's also <laughs> you know one of the things, of course, is sites also need to be able to work on mobile phones and things like that. They yes. have to be able to to conform to the to the screen. Yes. Now, did you have some challenges with that? 
Yeah, we well, we uh, we hired a guy that does nothing but front end work. So it took uh, when when we coded the front end for the for the web, uh -huh. you have to check it in. You, it has to work on the web. It has to work on uh, the iPad, the iPad Mini. It has to work in two different, three different phone formats. So, uh -huh. so it works in every format. Wow! And so every time you make a change, you have to make sure it works in every format. So that's that's. It's a big job when it's all hand coded. It's yeah. not like we uh, we did a drag and drop type website. We this is built from scratch and it's enterprise level. So everything, every page we create needs to be. Every new page needs to be redesigned. So, if you're if you're an auto repair company out there and you wanted to get a hold of you, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, there's a phone number right on our website. Uh huh. It is 888-884-8451. That's a lot of eight. That's a lot of eight. That's a lot like a Chinese. Good luck. <laughs> that's very yeah, good, that's good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I I really uh, I think this sounds like a, a an interesting venture. And I want to wish you all the luck in the world. Well, thank you. I know this is, you must put in a lot of, you have a lot of sleepless nights and, uh, or nights where you get very little sleep. Yes. And, yes. Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, this is the world of e-commerce, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I've had this project for a long time and I, I'm just going to see it through because I still believe in it. Yeah. And uh, we want to, we want to be the best uh, automotive repair site on the internet. Yeah. And I think we're going to do it. All right. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, Richard, for coming on the show. Thank you. Uh, here at Think Tech Hawaii and, uh, and the economy and you. I'm Chris Letham, and uh, next week, we'll, uh, in two weeks, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be looking forward to having one of our, our candidates um, from this last election, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then. So have a, a great weekend. Aloha.